Hi, my name is Ada Wells, and welcome to the Pro Balance PT and Pilates podcast. What I'd like to do is um, showcase a piece of equipment here called the trapeze table, and it really has great benefits throughout the um, sort of the scope of rehab, all the way to working with somebody that might be more of an elite athlete. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of show you that progression so that you get an idea of really how you can take a very similar exercise and progress it to something that is um, far more challenging um, to the individual. So first of all, if I have somebody, say, who has just suffered, um, has been suffering from severe back pain, um, they've been very guarded, uh, one of the things that I want to be able to do with them is to start getting them out of their guarded uh, sort of motor patterns. So we've got to learn how to stabilize from the center, but to be able to mobilize from the extremities, to be able to move the legs in, um, in a nice, um, easy manner. Now oftentimes pool therapy is a great um, type of therapy to work with these patients. Um, you know, not everybody wants to get into a cold pool in the Bay Area. So um, basically this is sometimes kind of like oh, I'm a pool on land. Um, in the same respect I have neurological patients who maybe have limited use of um, one side of their body or their limbs and um, everything from MS, post polio, um, those towards sorts of diagnoses. Parkinson's, and I can actually create a, sus a suspended and supportive environment for them, and then to work on movement. Like I said, we want to be able to facilitate movement, teach movement um, patterns, and try to get the, the brain and the body to be able to uh, be on the same page. So I'll stop talking, and I'll show you a couple things. Now, just keep in mind here, this first setup I'm going to do typically is not one that I would put myself in. It's typically that you know the practitioner would be placing the person in there for the purposes of this podcast. I might look a little awkward getting into it, but once I'm in, we'll be in. Okay, so the first um, exercise and setup is called the 90-90. And what's great about this particular setup is this is the this is the very supportive setup that I that I mentioned earlier. So basically, I'm going to have the person's um, upper extremity, I'm sorry, their upper leg and their lower leg um, suspended and supported. So here I am, and now this is what I kind of refer to as that pool therapy on land. My legs are suspended, I'm able to be able to let them go and to really focus, like I said, on that, that separation, that dissociation of the hips. I can work on circles of the legs, doing figure eights, and even starting some motor patterns which involve stepping. So once again, you can see where from a neurological standpoint also this would be very um, valuable. I can integrate some upper body work at the same time. Um, I oftentimes will do some things where I do some cross patterning, um, doing some opposite arm, opposite leg. I typically do this from the other end, but just for the purposes here I'll demonstrate this. So we can do some reciprocal patterns with the arms. Now this provides the greatest amount of support. Now just by taking my feet out of the loops here, what I'm going to do now is I'm taking away some of the support, and now I can work on um, doing some, some femur arcs here supported. Now this might be an exercise that a person might be doing at home um, eventually, or even in a mat class, but once again, when they're very acute, this may be really their level that they could do. So here I have this piece of the apparatus I can provide that assistance. Now, as they become more um, stable here, I can take the springs away, have them do this without it, and they're going to really have the challenge to their core. Now, I can take this a um, couple steps further. I can do things, I'm going to scoot up here. I can do things now where I'm actually working on um, being able to move the legs up and down and in control while um, stabilizing, once again, at, at the lower body. So I can do a, ver a variety of movement patterns down low. This is a little bit heavy for me. Once again, I'm, I'm just doing this for the purposes of the demonstration. Um, I typically would have the springs down a little lower and orange on the other side. Okay, but you're going to kind of get the idea here where we can start working once again coordination patterns. Um, and this is more challenging for the individual. So I'm getting fairly challenged there. Um, then we can take it all the way to something that's, um, once again, much more advanced. And so now we're putting it all together. Now I've got to be able to hold everything in control and in line. And maybe I might suspend myself part way up and see if I can still do 
that same sort of movement that I was doing earlier while I was supported, basically, can I stabilize the lumbar spine while mobilizing the hips and not taking the whole body along with me? So I can, I can work in various patterns um, depending on what I want to be able to do. Now, say I have somebody who's a, an athlete. They need to, maybe I have a volleyball player, overhead athlete, um, basketball player, high jumper, and I want to work on being able to create that smooth movement and control so that they can be able to know where their body should be in space. It's almost like I can take them in slow motion and work a little bit with some of the movement patterns they might have. And I can back it up and we can go backwards. So it's really just a fabulous um, like I said, just a fabulous piece of apparatus set, and that just is just a one little snippet of what we can do on here. But at least you can see how you can have that progression of something from very supportive to something that's much more um, advanced, and all the while really not doing a whole lot different with regards to my setup. So that's why it's really an efficient way to get a great movement workout, and for that matter, get a workout. Um, I'm breathing a little bit hard because that last exercise is challenging. All right, so anyways, we'll see you next time, and hopefully we'll see you here doing Pilates. Thanks so much.